uh, giant Pacific octopus is the largest octopus species. Um, it can reach up to about five, seven feet in the arm span, from arm to arm. It is a cold water species, so you may find them around here, but they tend to be deeper water. They're found more uh, further north where the water is colder. Um, one unique thing about them is they're often known for their intelligence, being smart animals, especially for invertebrates, so animals without a backbone. The octopuses are one of the most intelligent animals. They have the ability to learn new things, and one of the special, unique, I guess, abilities that they have here at the aquarium is they're able to open jars with food inside of it, so they can learn how to open a jar. Our Nautilus here, they're very unique compared to the rest of the cephalopods we have. They have an external shell, which all our other cephalopods do not have there, it's all internal. In addition, they've been around for a very long time, so they're what we are call living fossils because they've been around for 500 million years. And they have that shell to help them maintain buoyancy, so they can go up and down in the water column throughout the day. So they're found at very deep depths, and then at night they migrate to the surface to feed. We don't know exactly what they feed on, but we think they feed on potentially dead animals like dead shrimp, dead fish. Cuttlefish are called cuttlefish because they have a cuddle bone inside of them and that's what makes them different from all the other cephalopods. And that cuddle bone is a porous sort of bone that sits underneath their skin on the very top of their body. And if you ever have any pet birds, you may give them cuddle bones for them to chew on. Um, that is actually from a cuttlefish and that's that porous bone is what they are used to give to birds and they can chew on that. 